Welcome to this new video of the list dedicated to the programming of the Raspberry Pi in an easy way. You will find the link of the full list in the description. For this video, we will see together how to set up our environment for the Raspberry Pi. I assume that you have a version with a support of Wi-Fi. You also need an SD card where we will write the operating system. In my case, I have a Raspberry Pi Zero Wi-Fi. The first thing you need to do is to download the tool Pi Bakery. You will find it on this site. Now run the tool. The tool will check for updates in the beginning. In Pi Bakery, you can make a configuration for both the first boot and the regular boot. So here, I want to run the VNC server in every boot and connect it to my Wi-Fi network. I made things uh, simple, but you can check the other categories and add some uh, options. With a little tinkering, I advise you to add the blocker reboot in the end of the first uh, boot. For some reason, the board detects the Wi-Fi only on the second boot and not uh, the first. I need it, uh, in my case, to reboot it by myself. Now we are ready to write on the SD card. Plug it and click on Write. The operation uh, will, may, will take uh, like 15 to 20 minutes. Now I will change the configuration file to add the support of my VGA screen. But you, you are not obliged to have a screen. Now I will plug my SD card into the Raspberry Pi and plug the board into a power supply. You need to notice that the first boot take around 5 to 10 minutes. So if you don't have a screen, just leave the time to the board to run. After being sure that the board finished the first boot and plug the Raspberry Pi from the power supply and reconnect it again to be in the regular boot. At this time, the board was connected to the Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, you can download uh, this tool called Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, we will need it to find uh, the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. The tool will scan your network from a starting address to a final uh, one. This is uh, uh, the range in my case. If you are not familiar what, uh, with what is an IP address, you can find your IP address by running the ipconfig command. My IP uh, is uh, this one. So I will make uh, a scan of the first part of my network by changing the last digit of the IP address. Here my Raspberry Pi is connected with this address. Now I will run the tool VNC player. You will need an account. Put the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and connect to the board. The default user uh, is Pi, and uh, the default. And uh, here we are. This is our Raspberry Pi. Now we are ready to start the tinkering. 
I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.